Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 3rd, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to provide you with an update on the outrageously intense wildfire situation that is presently ongoing in California and the US West. But first, I'd like to look at predicted peak temperatures for today in California and the West. And it should be noted that California's Central Valley region and surrounding areas are today expected to hit in the 100 degree range. Uh, this is not comparable to the extraordinary heat we saw some days ago in which temperatures in some regions hit up to 110 or 111 or potentially higher, but it's still scorching hot, a 100 degree Fahrenheit range. And as you can see in southeastern California, in southern Nevada, and in southwestern Arizona, temperatures are, are extraordinarily hot. So extreme heat continues out west and these conditions are continuing to fan large fires in this region. And, oops, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, uh, that was the National Hurricane Center map which I had used for another blog, but this is the map that I wanted. This is the Wild, well, this is the NASA satellite shot, which is showing hot spots across the North American West. And as you can see, wildfires range from Alaska across British Columbia and down into the southwestern U.S. with very large smoke plume bowing out through the central and extending into parts of the eastern United States this time. And as a result of these large fires, we are getting worsening air quality, particularly out west. And this is, this is another environmental hazard linked to the wildfires, which is also linked to human-caused climate change, which is producing an increased frequency of wildfires due to extreme land heating during summertime. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you a map of the smoke plume. This is from airnow.gov, which is showing the, the dense smoke plumes and the more diffuse smoke plume from the western wildfires stretching well into Canada and as far east as it looks like extreme western Virginia and North Carolina. So, so an extraordinary smoke plume visible from these fires. Now, drilling down into some of the more intense fires, as of August 2nd, the car fire, which continues to burn and continues to be a threat to Northern California, is now the sixth most destructive on record, having destroyed 1,555 structures. And notably, according to climate signals, the state of California has experienced six of its most destructive wildfires in just the last 10 months. So extraordinary wildfires overall for California and, and unfortunately an update in which the car fire is now climbing the ranks and, and that's, that's not a good indicator. Another extreme event that we saw with the car fire was what is known as a fire tornado or fire nado. This is not the same kind of feature as, as the kind of tornado that would be produced by a, a thunderstorm, but it, it has tornado-like features and, and, and sucks up burning embers from the fire. It's generated from the fire updraft. And according to the National Weather Service in Sacramento, the car fire fire tornado achieved wind speeds in excess of 143 miles per hour, which is an equivalent to an EF3 
if it were produced by a thunderstorm. So, so an extraordinary uh, signal from this fire and, and not something that, that I'm aware of that we've ever seen before of, of such intensity that that's it's certainly possible that we have. But, um, but another up upshot of the more intense wildfires that we're seeing due to extreme temperatures and related to human-caused climate change. Now, another interesting indicator that's not directly related to wildfires, but I wanted to call your attention to is, is according to Weather Underground, as of five hours ago, reporting from Weather Underground, the hottest rain on record has now been recorded for Imperial Valley, California, in which it, it rained and the, the falling raindrops had a measured temperature of 119 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is the hottest rainfall temperature recorded anywhere on Earth now, now falling on California, hot rain and, and, and hot fires for the state. And I'm just going to conclude this, this updated segment with a, an image, this stunning image from one of the two fires burning near Clear Lake, which together burned a total of 94,000 acres as of yesterday. And this this picture shows an extreme wildfire burning over a ridge line and casting flames and burning embers hundreds to perhaps upwards of a thousand feet into the air. This photo taken by Shasta S. Hart. And uh, it just beyond words, the, the, the intensity of, of this image of, of it's, it's just the, the thermal updraft and, and, and the, the size of this, this wall of flame, hundreds of feet in the air near Clear Lake, California. And just an indication of one of, of, of numerous large fires continuing to burn throughout California. And one of more than 90 large fires currently burning across the U.S. West. And, and presently, California is in the grips of, of one of its worst wildfire seasons on record following 2017, which was, was the most destructive wildfire season for California. So, so severe impacts related to human-caused climate change presently ongoing in the U.S. West. And we, and we have numerous stunning indicators uh, of... Of, of, a, of a really tough situation. So thank you for joining me and, and I'll be chatting with you soon.